Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do quick edits within the Glowforge UI, um, and then I'll show you a real quick example in vector programs. If you don't have a vector program and you still feel uncomfortable with it, I would recommend you get comfortable with a vector program because it's going to have a lot more editing software so you can actually edit tabs. This one's going to be editing uh, quick edits for the cuts uh, only within the design, and I'll show you what I mean here. So within the Glowforge UI, what we're going to do is we're going to be editing this uh, large swap top box. I call it the infinite box as well. You can basically make infinite amount of boxes from one box here. So we'll, let's just say, for example, we're going to change this pen holder into like a Sharpie holder and we need slightly tighter holes. Um, you can just right click on this uh, once you have it selected here properly. Right click and click ungroup. As you can see, I've got to ungroup now and I can select all these individually. When I select the first one, you can notice it's uh, 0.56 by 0.56 inches. That's how wide it is here. We're going to change that. Um, I'm going to hold down shift and just select multiple at once so I can change a whole row. Uh, right there is that 0.56 inches height. And if you lock the aspect ratio, it will change all together at the same time. We're going to shrink that down to 0.5. As you can see, it shrunk down right there. Now let's just say that is the right uh, width for a Sharpie. I don't know off the top of my head. I'm just using this as an example. We now have that selected. And then these are still set for pens. Let's say I want to change these to like a paint marker setting. And just for example, let's say the paint marker is 0.7 inches. As you can see, they're now too large for the lid. So I have to get rid of one of these. You can select it, hit delete. You now have uh, five paint marker options here, and you can hold shift and nudge this over with your arrow keys. And then you can do the same thing and change this style too. But let's just say we want um, Sharpies, pens, paint markers, and then pens again. You've got a whole new lid selected now. Um, and then for some reason, the Glowforge UI is a little finicky about selecting options. So I always just like to click until it selects and then hold down shift and deselect whatever I don't need from it. Then you can right click and click group and you have a whole new lid that will move together here and that was a real quick editing option there. I'm going to do one more example here. Let's say you don't like this layout and you want a whole new lid. Um, just right click on this um, after you have it properly selected and click ungroup and then I'm going to hold down shift and deselect the back here and we're going to delete the entire inside. As you can see, this is now a blank lid, and I can add my own cutouts with premium here. You just select your uh, little cutout options. We're going to do a circle. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit, just like that. And then I'm going to hold down Control-C for copy and Control-V for paste. And uh, we now have two circular options here. And then uh, let's say for some reason you have a weird shaped item that looks like a star. You can do some weird shaped items like that. And we're going to just do a large star here. Let's just say our item is about that big here, for example. And then you can group this again and you have a whole new lid for two circular items and a star shaped item. And you're all set and good to go there. Uh, now let's go ahead and jump over to Illustrator. I'm going to show you the same example here in Illustrator. So as you can see in Illustrator here, um, I have the exact same layout. Uh, let's say we need to change the pen stand here. You can um, either have it selected, go up to Object, choose Ungroup, or you can hit Control, Shift, and G, and that will ungroup it too. Um, then once you have this group selected, you'll do the same thing. I'm going to just do Control, Shift, and G. And as you can see, they're the exact same size up here, uh, 0.56 inches by 0.56 inches. I'm going to highlight that in top row again, and we're going to change it to 0.5. And as you can see, it shrunk down again. So the same concept, um, but just within the vector program here. And then once you're done doing all the edits, I want to show you guys how you can save from Illustrator as an SVG properly. So we're going to go to File, we're going to click Save As. I'm going to just change this to the word Test since I don't need this file now. And then you'll select SVG from this drop-down list here. Once you have that selected, you're going to hit Save. 
And then you're going to want your layout in Illustrator to look exactly like this layout here. Make sure all these bottom options are unchecked. The number three is right here. All of these options here are selected. And then you'll hit OK, and you can upload it to your Glowforge UI. That way the uh, file size doesn't change. Um, one last thing I want to point out is if you're using a program other than Illustrator, if you uh, have a file that was created in Illustrator or a different third party, you'll want to use a PDF file. Most uh, sellers will include PDF files. Um, this is the same file that I provide here. So I have my Illustrator files, which have this little icon or it says Adobe Illustrator uh, right here and here. It comes with the bonus lids too. Or there's the SVG files. I would recommend opening any of those with it, just ve uh, with Illustrator itself. But if you're having a third party, uh, such as Inkscape or a non-Illustrator uh, program, or, um, I would open the PDF file. So just open this folder that says troubleshooting-pdf. And right here are the two files. You can right-click whatever file you want to open and go to Open With. And with your third party, let's just say it's Inkscape, you can open Inkscape just by clicking on that little link right there. The reason why you want to do that is if you try opening one of these files with Inkscape, your Inkscape program probably has different settings than the way that this was saved, so it could shrink down the file, where a PDF pro, uh, file will maintain the correct size for you. That way you don't have to worry about the tabs or the size of the box changing on you. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, I, I know this was a pretty quick edit. I didn't want the video to be too long. Um, so if you need to rewatch the video and pause at any point, go ahead and do so. I hope this helped you guys out, especially people who are a little intimidated by the vector program so far, so you can actually edit within the Glowforge UI. Um, and then if you want this same box here um, and you want to practice on it, uh, you can get that on our website, freshstartcustoms.com, or the same uh, shop on Etsy and support the channel. Other than that, I hope this, uh, this video helped you guys out, and it's been a pleasure, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.